Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. Now my last selection for this Female Friday comes from a British girl group. Uh, Toto Colo is the name of the group and they had a hit in 1982. It only reached number 66 in the United States in 1982 called I Eat Cannibals. Now, I remember this song very well. It was uh, almost a staple of the early 80s in the Valley Girl kind of scene and, and things like that. So um, I remember this song uh, fondly. I mean, I, I, you know, it was, I don't ever consider music truly bad unless I'm listening to Guar. Um, if you know them, you know, look them up. But, um, there's not a lot to know about this group other than they were they were all female. They started uh, up. This was their biggest chart topper, and then the band kind of broke up, and uh, you know only three were left, and then the three tried it out, and then they couldn't sustain themselves. So that's all I know about them. So without any further ado, it is, here is Toto. Colo, or called Toto Colo in the United States, with I Eat Cannibals. And here we go.
Okay, so that was Toto Colo with I Eat Cannibals. And I can honestly say, I have never seen that video before. I had no idea what they looked like. And <laughs> it looks like an early in incarnation of the Spice Girls. Uh, <laughs> is what it kind of looks like. But, um, you know, they were a one-hit wonder. Uh, I guess when you come out like that, and especially the way they were dressed, um, and some kind of, you, you know, valley girl tribal, you know, gear, you're, there's only certain ways you can go. And, um, yeah, you, you kind of put your, uh, paint yourself into a corner when you come out like that. Um, and around that same time frame, uh, we're, we're talking... I think it's in 1982. Yeah, 1982. When you're talking 1982, you've already got, at that same time frame, you got the Go-Go's, uh, you got Bananarama, um, and uh, I, 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 get, I, I blank out now with other girl groups. Oh, uh, no, let me see. Yeah, Banana Ram keeps popping up in my head. Um, so um, the Bengals were a little bit later, but yeah, when you when you have those on the charts that are actually uh, take themselves a little bit more seriously uh, with their with the vision of their band, you know, it's it's good as a one-off knockoff like song, and you don't plan on doing anything else, but you know, you put out an album. So there's at least like seven or eight more songs out there that nobody really knows about or even cares about after, you know, is this, is, is this what you guys are doing? But it was a, uh, a, a unforgettable song in my, my opinion. So um, that's why I played it. And if you like the song, you know, let me know. And also let me know if you heard the song where were you the first time you heard this song and any kind of, you know, memories, uh, whether they be fond or bad, uh, about the song. I, as I think about it even more, I think this was like a cheesy way of somebody putting on record, Eat Me, and being able to be played on the radio airwaves. But they say it a couple of times in the songs, like, Eat Me. Um, so there could be like a, a hidden meaning underneath this song that, you know. But uh, please continue to like, subscribe, share, comment.